If SoFi Stadium is like a cathedral for football, let's just say the Chargers got caught letting a loud one rip in the back of the church with a 37 to 23 loss to the Seattle Seahawks on Sunday. Hi, I'm James the Faithful Angelino Sports with a rapid recap of Chargers football. Now, if you enjoy talking about the Bolts, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Look, this was the type of game where you are going to drink heavily afterwards and you're going to ask yourself a number of questions. The least of which is, is Brandon Staley up for the job? Are the players understanding that a championship roster was put together? If they even know how to play together as a unit on either offense or defense, because it really was that bad. This was a stinker that the Chargers should never have let out today. LA came in tied for first place in the AFC West with the Kansas City Chiefs. LA had a three game winning streak. Keenan Allen returned for the first time to play since week one. Everything should have been blooming for the Chargers in this one. Only the Bolts surrendered 17 points in the first quarter and the Seattle Seahawks never looked back. Matter of fact, those 17 points were scored in a horrific six minutes, 21 seconds in game time. One that you just couldn't believe your eyes if you were watching it. Uh, Marquise Goodwin, he, he caught a 20 yard pass from Geno Smith in that uh, frame. Uh, Goodwin caught two TD passes overall, by the way. Kenneth Walker rushed for a 12 yard TD. Uh, there was a field goal, but look, the scoring plays, put that to the side. L.A. was guilty of shooting itself in the foot so often you wondered if they either ran out of bullets or ran out of feet to shoot. The Chargers' first three drives ended by turning over the ball on downs, an interception, and a fumble. They simply were not ready. They were not prepared to play this game. Maybe you blame the coaching staff. Maybe you blame the players. Either way, I think it's open season to point fingers right now after this one. Who to blame? You could just tell me in the comments thread. I'm not even going to think I want to debate anybody on it. I'll just simply say I understand your pain. LA never, because of that 17-point deficit, never really had a chance to, uh, to establish the run. It's true that Austin Eckler... Uh, scored a couple of touchdowns, but he only ran for 31 yards. 31. You compare that to Seattle rookie uh, uh, Kenneth Walker, rushed for 168 yards and two touchdowns. Austin, uh, Justin Herbert, he passed for 293 yards because they were so far behind, he had no choice but to just throw up 51 passes. And yes, he passed for a couple of touchdowns, but he also had that interception. And by the way, the Chargers passing game is in trouble too. I mentioned earlier that Keenan Allen came back for the first time since week one, but number three receiver, Joshua Palmer, he went, he didn't play at all. He was injured. And oh, by the way, Mike Williams, the number two receiver, the number two receiver, he winds up limping off the field in the fourth quarter. It was a terrifyingly bad performance. Now look, if you're Seattle, you're pretty happy because you're gonna end this day either tied for first place in the NFC West, or depending on the outcome of the San Francisco, Kansas City game, you could wind up leading the NFC West. And you could say, if you're Seattle, that you may have turned a corner defensively. The Seahawks came into the game allowing more than 25 points per game, but they held Arizona last week to nine, and the Chargers, they wound up uh, getting nine points in the fourth quarter. Otherwise, that would have been a good defensive performance yet again. So if you're the Seahawks, you're like, hey, maybe it's us. Maybe we're so great. But in my opinion, make no mistake, this game was all about how poorly L.A. played. You can't spot your opponent 17 points right off the bat and expect to win. All of that work that the Chargers front office made in the offseason, whether it was through drafting, whether it was through trades, whether it was through the money that was spent in free agency. And by the way, J.C. Jackson, the high-priced free agent quarterback that they signed for New England, didn't play. All of that work 
in the off season was to create a championship contender that would be immune to stinking up the joint this bad. So that performance on Sunday, straight up, it was not good enough. Absolutely not. So once again, the final score, Seattle 37, Chargers 23. Let me know what you think in the comments thread. I'm interested to hear. And if you enjoyed talking about the Chargers again, don't forget to subscribe to Faithful Angelinos. We talk about the bolts here. Thank you for watching. I'm James. We'll be back tomorrow. Faithful Angelinos is a key in Corte Queso production. Take care.